You're going to do it right. And you're going to do it cute. With no sarcasm. Or else. No sarcasm, huh? Okay. Okay, here we go. Driving at night is a whole different kettle of fish. It's dark out there. You should do as little night driving as possible. But here are a couple of handy tips. Open windows. Fresh air will do wonders. Take breaks. Give your eyes a rest from the road. Listen to music you don't like. It'll keep your brain activated. And most of all, if you feel the tiniest, the teeniest bit of sleepy, stop driving. It's better a long trip in the morning than a short trip in a ditch. <laughs> there. Happy? Cute enough for you? I even put in a giggle for free. That was good. What? That was good. I almost believed you were a road trip girl. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Wayne? Here. Really? What? Thanks. She gets to carry the sign. How come she gets to carry the sign? She was only good because we forced her to be. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, wait, wait, I want to carry the sign. dump me for a couple weeks now because he's going away. I don't want him to, but boys suck. <laughs> Tell me about it. Are we there yet? Like you said? Or by the food court. 
D17, not C17. Never mind. <laughs> on my arm this afternoon. I have a hanky on me. I thought about bringing a box of Kleenex, but that'd make you laugh, right? I was telling your mom about it, but I was always bothering you for a Kleenex till one day you got so fed up you said, just not on your arm, Greg. Just not on your arm. Do it once and you'll never bother me for a Kleenex again. She smiled a bit. I haven't been by here since. I have to go to the community center twice a week, and I won't take the parkway. I know it's stupid. Your mom already put across the corner. There's already a ton of flowers there. I bought daisies. No roses, right? I think she blames me. She doesn't want to. I know. I know she doesn't, but, but he's gone and I'm here, so I blame me too. I remember seeing you lying on the pavement and I thought you'd forgot. I was laughing you'd forgot because you always bothered me about my memory. And I was laughing when I picked up the phone and I think about calling you all the time. Something funny will happen and for a flash I think I have to tell Meg that I remember I can't. I'll see someone at school from behind and I'm positive it's you. Why did it have to be you? Why did it have to be that stoplight? And why did that... He got in his car and he took you away. Just like that. Like a breath. I miss you so much. Now, Miranda, he's gonna do fine. Just fine. And he'll well know everything will be hunky dory. Well, Miss Levinson, what happened? driving behind you. If I can pass peanut butter by, then I can do the same with you. You're not as scary as a pickup truck with an open load, but I stupidly spend some time reading about truck accidents. Jackknives, sleepy drivers, 
www.jackknifescausedbycbjarvis.com. <laughs> not the smartest thing to do, I know, Mr. Semi, but I've never claimed the girl smart enough not to read about truck accidents before driving a long distance prize. I'm barely even applicable for the girl getting through most of the day without screwing up prize. I wonder if there is such a thing. <coughs> uh, anyways, it's you, me, and the yellow dotted line, and the road ain't big enough for the three of us. So as much as I've enjoyed not enjoying your company, I'm hitting the gas and hopefully leaving you in the dirt. <sighs> okay, Christine. If you can do this, you can do anything. School, a walk in the park. New life, a veritable breeze. <sighs> okay, Christine, you can do this. On the count of three. One, two, no, 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 don't close your, your eyes, ding, ding, bat. <laughs> okay, go, Christine, go. Go, Christine. Okay, go, 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 go. Woohoo! Smile later, Mr. Semi. Life, here I come. T. T. Tia, wake up! Tia! What? Huh? You have to drive. What's wrong? Wake up, you have to drive. Sure, no problem. Look freaked and finicky. I am. Freaked and finicky. All the way freaked and finicky. What happened? I saw bunnies on the road, T. White bunnies. And they waved at me. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, give me a second. Do you have any drinks left? We've got nothing. It's in the middle of the night. We're in the middle of nowhere. White bunnies are waving at me. Bunnies, T. Bunnies. Whoa, easy does it. We've been going 24 hours straight. Whose broad idea was this? Who said we could do this? Who said let's drive straight through in one shot? You did? What kind of idiot am I? I'm tired. I'm tired of greasy food. I'm tired of peeing in a bathroom that isn't mine. I'm tired of being in this car. I hate this car with its crappy radio and no CD. Not even a tape deck. I mean, when was this car made? The 1800s? It's your car. I know it's my car. I hate that I have to listen to the crappy radio. I hate the radio. There's nothing good on the radio. And I hate that you sing along with the radio. You're never on key. This is not a harmony free zone. You think you know the words, but you don't, and it's driving you crazy. And what's up with the bunnies? Why am I seeing bunnies? Why? Are you finished? This word is very flat and strict. I hate that too. Now I'm done. Sure? Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry for not having a good time. I love road trips. I love driving and seeing another family in another car. Maybe my eyes will meet with the kid in the back seat, and knowing this is the only time we'll see each other. They'll take their exit and go on and live their lives. We've only had that brief second. I love driving, seeing the country by car, turning a corner and seeing a road that stretches out to the distance. A hillside and fog covered in trees. A road carved out of rock. A road so flat you can see a thunderstorm coming on forever. Everybody should take a road trip. How do you know where you are if you don't know where you're from? Or something like that. I'm sorry, T. I'm sorry I snapped. It was the bunnies. This never happened before. Well, if we're sharing, I do have one teeny tiny complaint. Go ahead. I've never met anyone who farts as much as you do. I know. Man, I don't know what you ate, but you're one singing girl. Okay, T! My singing's back! And T, look! Half as bad as I said. Would you shut up and look?